So in this video we're painting the same planet as before but from much closer up. So I'm starting with a basic curve here, doing it completely freehand, it doesn't need to be a perfect curve and in fact is probably a bit better if it has a bit of roughness to that edge. Then we're just adding a few different grey tones to the surface, um, light on the left and dark on the right. And then we'll blend those together. We'll then throw a few more dark and light tones just to add a bit of roughness to the surface. So next layer, I'm actually duplicating the first one and now I'm using an eraser to carve out of it uh, the seas and continents we want. This actually takes quite a long time. We just have to pay attention to the detail on the coastlines and how realistic they look. So I'm using a fine brush to carve out the edge and then a larger one to fill in the space. You'll also notice towards the top of the planet we draw the continents a lot more compressed. That's of course because this planet is curving away from us and we want to create that effect. So now we're making the atmosphere layer. So I just copy the base layer again and shift it up a bit. Erase that edge against space and the bottom there, so the thickest part will be along the horizon. I then go back and I fill in a few more uh, fine details on the surface, a few tributaries and rivers. I don't spend too much on the detail here because we're having quite a thick atmosphere that will cover a lot of that up. Adding the colour now, again we're going for a kind of Martian orange and we'll throw in the blue there as well to make it look that semi-habitable style that would be perfect for our animation. And when we blend those together it really brings the uh, image to life. So for these cloud features I just throw some white down and I use a smear brush to just streak it across the atmosphere there and then just play with the transparency and the opacity of different parts and see what happens. So the last bit is just to play around with the lighting and colouring. Just keep changing things until I get something I like. This one I went for a slightly redder look. Um, and that should stand out pretty nicely. 